Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Grischuk and Jan Christoph Duda. And this is the game 3 from the tie breaks. Alexander Grischuk had white pieces and he started with d4. Duda played d5, c4, queen's gambit, c6, the slav defense, knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, e6, bishop to d3, letter b to d7, white to move. Castling is the most played move. Grischuk played b3, b6, castling, bishop to b7, bishop to b2, black to move. Bishop to e7 is the most played move. Duda played d takes on c4. b takes on c4. c5. White to move. Well, Duda is very familiar with this position. He played this as black in 2013. Kessler, player with the white pieces, played knight from b to d2. And black easily equalized. Back to our game. Alexander Grischuk found an improvement. And the improvement is d5, sacrificing the pawn for the initiative. The game continued. e takes on d5, c takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, e4, bishop to c6, rook to e1, queen to e7, Knight to c3, black to move. There is no time to castle king's side. So, Duda castled queen's side. Knight to d5, attacking the queen, queen to e8. Let's take it back. How about bishop takes knight? Is that better? It's not. Then e takes on d5. And after queen to d6, bishop to a6, check. King to c7. Knight to e5, and white is winning. Back to our game. Queen to e8, a4. It is now obvious that white has an ample compensation for the sacrifice pawn. It shows that d5 pawn push is the way to go for the initiative. The game continued. Bishop to d6, bishop to a6 check, king to b8, Queen to b3, lining the queen with the black king. Knight takes on e4. Black is two pawns up, but has a position which is difficult to play. a5, bishop to c7. a takes on b6, a takes on b6. Bishop to b5, bishop to b7. Queen to a4, queen to e6, bishop to c6. Black to move. Bishop takes on h2 was played. If bishop takes on c6, then queen to a7, check. And after king to c8, queen takes on c7, checkmate. Back to our game. And how about queen takes on c6? Is that better? Then queen to a7, check. And after king to c8, knight to e7, Check. Mate. Back to our game. Bishop takes on h2. Check. Knight takes bishop. Queen takes on c6. Black is three pawns up and he is offering to trade queens. If the queens are exchanged, black wins. White to move. How would you continue? Grischuk played queen to a7. Check. Black king must go to c8. White to move. And to play the obvious. And the obvious is knight to e7 check, forking the king and the queen. King to c7. Knight takes on c6, black to move. Rook to a8, the best move under the circumstances. If king takes knight, then check. And after the king moves to a safe spot, rook takes on e4. Back to our game. Rook to a8, trapping the white queen. Rook takes knight on e4. Rook takes queen. Rook takes on a7. King takes knight. Rook to e7. Rook to d8. Knight to f3. b5. 
These two pawns are the only hope for black. Rook takes on f7, b4. Rook takes on g7, king to b6, attacking the rook. Rook to a1, bishop takes on f3, g takes on f3. Knight to f8, defending the pawn on h7. Rook to g8, pinning the knight, c4. Bishop to g7. Knight to e6, rook takes rook. Knight takes rook. Rook to c1. King to b5. f4. Knight to e6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to e5. Knight to c5. King to f1. Knight to d3. Forking the rook and the bishop. Rook to d1. King to c5. Let's take it back. How about knight takes bishop? Is that better? Then f takes on e5. c3. e6. c2. Rook to e1. b3. e7. b2. Check. White is winning. Back to our game. King to c5. King to e2. King to d5. Rook to h1. Knight to c5. Let's take it back. How about knight takes bishop now? If knight takes bishop, then pawn takes knight. King takes pawn. And one line goes like this. King to e3. b3. Rook takes on h7. c3. Rook to h5. Check. Sending the king back. King to d3. c2. King to d2. King to c6. f4. And white is winning. Back to our game. Knight to c5. Rook takes on h7. c3. White to move. There is more than one way to win. This was Grishchuk's choice. Bishop takes on c3. b takes on c3. Rook to c7. c2. King to d2. Knight to e4 check. King takes on c2. Knight takes pawn on f2. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Grishchuk played king to d2. Rook to e7 would cut the black king off from the king's side. And the best move for black would be to resign. However, Grishchuk didn't play rook to e7. He wanted to torture Duda for longer and played king to d2. King to e4. King to e2. Knight to g4. Rook to c4 check. King to f5. King to f3. Knight to h2 check. King to g2. Knight to g4. King to g3. Knight to e3. Rook to c5 check. King to f6. King to f3. Knight to f5. Rook to a5. King to g6. White played a move and black resigned and the move is Rook to a6 check. Duda resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. King to f7, king to e4, knight to e7, f5, king to e8, king to e5, king to f7, rook to d6, knight to g8, rook to d7, king to e8, king to e6, knight to f6, rook to e7 check, king to f8. King takes on f6, king to g8, king to g6, king to f8, f6, king to g8, rook to e8, check, mate. Congratulations to Alexander Grischuk, who won the Grand Prix Hamburg 2019. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.